Hey everybody, Joe Dugan with Jacobson Company Real Estate. I want to introduce to you my good friend John Hart. He's a local artist, does some really cool pieces here. Uh, and, you know, I want to talk about his kind of community campaign that's going to be taking place this summer at Harris Pavilion from June till the end of August. Uh, it's just a feel-good art exhibit, good place to bring the family, take some selfies, talk about the art. It's just a really good time. So if you're looking to see some really cool art this summer, let's go meet John Hart. my good friend John Hart in Manassas. John's a local artist. I've known him for about 10 years now. We've worked on and off together throughout the years. He's doing something really cool this spring and summer in Old Town Manassas, um, trying to bring the community together with art. And I'll kind of let John tell you more about it. Hey guys, this is John Hart. I'm an artist out of Manassas and I'm working on this really cool project. It's called Something Wonderful. Something Wonderful is going to be an exhibit in downtown Manassas. It's going to be if you look at these guys, it's going to be 16 of these guys on the lawn of the Harris Pavilion between the dates of June 1st and August 31st. The goal of this project is basically just a feel-good community project uh, where we have all these different diverse uh, images. They're good fodder for selfies. And uh, it's just to bring awareness to the arts and the creativity that is so vibrant in Manassas. So John, tell us a little bit about how long you've been in the area and how long you've been creating these types of works. I've been painting and drawing all my life. I've been doing it in earnest for about 10 years, maybe less than 10 years. I've been having art shows and stuff. I did that you know, part time while I was working my desk job. So right before COVID, I was let go from my corporate job. And I made a decision that I, I'm going to do this art thing full time right now because if I don't, I'll be on my deathbed <laughs> regretting not doing it. So I've been doing it for probably four years and it's been, it's been hard, it's been challenging, but it has been wonderful being an artist and just putting stuff out there. Do you have any other projects lined up in the pipeline down the road and in, in, in the fall perhaps? My main source of income really is doing painting playgrounds at area schools, at elementary schools. So I do like the, uh, the whole hopscotch, four square thing, but I kind of add my own flavor to it. So all these playgrounds are kind of got, are customized for the school that I'm painting them for. All right, John, looking at these works of art, they're all pretty crazy and whimsical. Where do you get your inspiration for this type of work? Uh, I don't know if it's inspiration. I'm, I get inspiration really from everywhere, but when I'm creating these, I'm, my really my number one goal is what am I going to do to make this piece different? And so much thought really goes into that. Even if it's just something as simple as adding a different figure or just something that doesn't belong there, that makes people think, you know, what, what's going on here? And makes, makes people think more about the art. Tell folks where we can find you on Facebook, Instagram, website. Yeah. Where's that at? I'm active on Instagram and Facebook. You can find me at J-O-R-T-T. -T, and I have a nice web page called J-O-R-T-T.com. And for this project, I'm standing up a website right now called something-wonderful.com. And it'll and you'll be able to access all the pieces and check out everything what's going on with this project. So don't forget to come down to Old Town Manassas this summer to see John's Something Wonderful campaign, take some selfies, bring down the family and have a good time. Mm -hmm.